What are the numbers? The uh, sub has been I bet you thought this was real. See, I told you not to listen to what you see. Because all of this, it was just a dream. And that was the clue. The only clue. The rest was all just meant to take you off track because, ironically, a dream is exactly what my future relocation city actually needs. Let me explain. The Orlando Magic co-founder Pat Williams held a press conference on November 20th to announce their intent to bring Major League Baseball to Central Florida. See, Orlando is a nice city and it could be a market where a team could succeed, but the group promoting this idea, you know, Pat Williams and, and crew, doesn't have the capability to own or operate a franchise. Additionally, unless the Tampa Bay Rays were to relocate, Orlando would never be permitted to bring a team to the city. MLB rules permit clubs to veto relocation if the move encroaches on their home market, and Tampa Bay would certainly oppose another franchise taking up residence less than 100 miles away. Williams seems to be banking on baseball not being long in Tampa, which, you know, we've kind of heard. They've yet to reach out to the Rays' managing general partner, Stuart Sternberg, to discuss their plans. Until today, the general management of the Tampa Bay Rays has been passed over to yours truly, and the Rays are making an in-state relocation move up to Orlando. The dream is alive. I present to you the Orlando Dreamers. So let's take a look at the starting jerseys for the club. Fans are likely already trashing the design, but as seasons go on, hopefully more success will come our way and we'll be able to improve these jerseys and this, you know, this logo. Now, before we jump into opening day, let's talk about the roster. The Dreamers inherit a team built off some strange decisions by the Rays. They've been trading in endlessly for their quest for incremental improvements to compete in the AL East. They made three of the winners' most interesting deals. First, outfielder Tommy Pham was shipped to San Diego for outfielder Hunter Renfro and high A shortstop Xavier Edwards, with prospects kind of filling out the deal. They not only got younger, but also turned Pham's one remaining season of control into Renfro's four. They also sent a top pitching prospect, 2018 first rounder Matt Libertore, to the Cardinals for outfielders Jose Martinez and Randy Arozarena, a 25 year old from Cuba. Finally, closer Amelia Pagan went to the Padres for center fielder Manuel Margot and a prospect. While these deals crowd the Dreamers roster, they create platoon options for a team whose left handed batters just honestly need help. Against lefties last year, first baseman Jaiman Choi and second baseman and Brandon Lowe struggled, while center fielder Kevin Kiermeyer has a .298 career on base percentage against Southpaws. The model here might be the 2014 A's who made the playoffs while platooning at four spots, so we'll have to see how that goes. Now, whoever fills out the Dreamers outfield, though, their defense should be elite. You got Kiermaier as one of the best of his generation, Margot, who in three seasons in the majors has been crushing it, vacuum in center, and Renfro, who has gunned down 13 base runners from the corner spots last season. Orlando's new pitchers also had second best strikeout rate and third best walk rate in baseball last year. With full seasons from top line starters like Blake Snell, Tyler Glass now, this year the Dreamers could very well allow the fewest runs in the AL. The most notable thing to mention though is the farm system. Wanda Franco, arguably the best prospect in baseball and a huge fan favorite, has the AL's lowest strikeout percentage of each season in the last three years. Toss in double digit home runs in a 300 plus batting average and you have one of the best players in the game when you lead the league in attendance three years running you can afford a top five payroll the team is ready and so am i so let's get into the very first mlb the show 20 relocation franchise in orlando dreamer baseball let's get it 